हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सुरु सुरु हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू अ कंप्लीट माय पेंटिंग एंड यू विल लर्न सम ऑफ द टिप्स ऑन इट दिस इज माय नेक्स्ट पेंटिंग This is my next painting, and Daddy, you will Daddy, learn Daddy, some of the Daddy, tips Daddy, and Daddy. also some dinner. And now it is now it is something five o'clock. It's five o'clock. It's six o'clock, and we are going to start a painting after having my. My coffee. Papa, for coffee. Hmm. For Anta ka? Sakar. Ei, ei, garam nahi chhod. Ei, ei, garam nahi chhod. Pukar. So yeah. After having my coffee, ha after having a little bit of snacks, we are going to start go do a painting. You will learn that. You will learn some recipes. So stay tuned and let's go and start the video. Ah! as now i'm going to create my base this is the base what i'm going to create and this is the base what i'm create and i'm just going to mix this effect for that i'm going to use black you can use ivory black you can use black you can use any of the black you have uh, i'm using ivory black and before you using black uh you need to change your water because your water is turned out white so change your water so same thing i'm going to do change my water and come back soon for creating this effect i'm going to take some uh ivory black and i'm going to take uh i'm going to mix a little bit of uh, water into it i hope you can see this like this is the ivory black this ivory black is really intensity black all the blacks are like a little different they base on little differently but uh, this ivory black is really really intense black as if you don't have ivory black you can just go for a simple black okay now i'm going to wash over here i'm going to give a wash over here fully black i'm going to take a uh, lemon number brush and i'm just going to create this effect this is the plain black i'm using you can use flat brush you can use any of the brushes as this uh, paint you should be using really really soft and here i have created a little bit of band of red so take care of it and just draw a black line that's it. so this is the red line we have created if you want you can go with a smaller brush as well but i am going to go with this brush itself if you want some flat brush to do that really fine work you can take your black If you want to buy this painting do connect me on Instagram go on my website shop if you have paper then well and good otherwise you can just connect me the number is 9325380000 you can connect there you can google pay and buy my paintings 
same thing i'm going to do over here as well and then i'm going to take the flat brush as i had taken the side and i'm going to create this line over here you can take a small tiny round brush as well but i am going to do with this brush itself okay whenever you're going to work with very small spaces go and take a really fine brush like four number brush four number round brush is well and good okay so after applying this part of the black we are going to take the same uh, brush 11 number round brush i'm going to take some deep magenta you can call this pink uh, dark pink or something like that uh, as you prefer uh, so this is what color it is so this is called magenta so this is the color i'm going to use i'm not going to mix this with the water i'm just going to apply this and give some strokes over the black it depends on you how background you want to create you can just go with a uh, full black or you can just play with colors like playing with colors will give you a very very nice effect because uh, you have some dimension in your background and uh, your background will look really amazing as i have taken this uh, mauve shade now and same purple shade whatever you call it and i'm going to work it dry uh, dry as meaning uh, like i'm not going to mix any water into it so i'm going to use it as same as like that but i'm going to go over my black and create the dimension what it has do not mix that color uh, into your palette with black try to mix that color onto your base onto your canvas base whatever you call it you need to mix it onto your canvas and i hope you had seen my the uh, first video where i have shown you how to prepare the canvas if you have not watched that video then go and check it out i had taken like this type of stroke so same stroke we are going to create over here and if you have not watched that video then the link will be given in the description box or somewhere i over here here over here somewhere over here so this side also we are going to do the same thing here we have applied some black and from here we are going to create that mauve effect always check how is your strokes that are really really important after your brush dries a little bit after all the color is applied like this we are going to take the same strokes inside our face we are going to take it this is my flat brush this is the brush number eight and i'm going to take it gradually inside my face creating that dimension as if you have same thing everything is explained why this is done create this really blurry look so go and check my before video so this is how you create that blurry effect okay as I create this body effect, right? okay? So you need a dry brush, you need before technique, how you do before, how to create your canvas. After creating your canvas, this is, you can see how beautifully it is merged and it looks like, it is like coming from within. Uh, I hope you can see that beautiful merging. Here as well, we are going to create the same thing. Now I'm going to take my dry brush and I'm just going to push that color inside the space and create that blurry effect what we want to create actually. If your brush has already dried like, like this, then you're going to take a patch like a color like this, apply where you want to apply, finish your color, okay, and then you're going to go inside like this. and creating that blurry effect the strokes are given
so this is what it looks like it, it it just feels like it is blurred out it is merged it is like beautifully merged okay now i'm going to take my brush dab it into a little bit of water very little bit of water and mix into this black with that purple whatever you have don't wash your brush and now i'm going to give a wash very strong like a wash very very strong so you should see this so here i'm going to take really watery color and i'm going to take a really strong line over here to create that jaw line okay and i'm going to take about the jewelry whatever it is and see where we're able to patch this just patch it again we are going to take it down like this okay and we are going to just join them try and be very very be careful if you cannot if you cannot uh, do with this broad flat brush like i have as i have taken h number brush you cannot do that then go with a very very fine brush because this will ruin everything if you don't take care of it okay now this is done now i'm going to take my brush my cloth is really dirty so excuse me so i'm going to wipe this like this now it is dry okay my brush is dry and now i'm going to blend this okay very very softly i'm going to blend this whatever water was there into it i'm just going to blend this out slightly and here also same thing we are going to blend this Okay, so this is what it is. Do not take water if your base is dry. Take very, very little amount of water. So this is created a shadow like of effect. and now again i'm going to grab that really black color what we have created mixing a brush a little bit of water side same color i'm going to take and i'm going to create that intensity at the edge like this okay and i'm going to wash my brush wash up brush completely and then i'm going to wipe that brush like this it dry you can see it's fully dry and then i'm going to pull this outside like this pull this outside some techniques some tricks will create your painting really beautiful you will love that okay i i hope you can see the difference between the two that face is just come in forward really nicely okay same thing as well we are going to create this dimension over here we are going to lift this face really forward so i'm going to use the same same purple and black mixture same thing and i'm going to create that dimension here as i create it down and i'm going to create it here this is the one. you can go above this because that we didn't create that we didn't do yet okay now i'm going to dry my brush same as before dry your brush and just bring opposite side down let it mix into your face like this okay let everything get merged like this okay wherever you feel some if i just say i'm going to take a little bit of water wash my brush again and create that dimension so here we are now i'm going to rice and some soup rice is rice is uh, because of my daughter and soup is because of us i I'm making mushroom soup today. So here I have added uh, one onion, ginger garlic paste, and mushrooms, and let it just get absorbed. 
and just let it cook grind it little bit of uh, mushrooms in the mixer and then i add a little bit of water little bit of little one tablespoon of cream and salt that's it my soup is ready so i hope you can hear lot lot of noise in my house so just we have means we had a dinner and now my painting i'll show you tomorrow let's continue this tomorrow and before that mama karo before that let's upar before that i'm doing my hair care routine before that i'm going doing my hair care routine if So this is what it looks like. The size of it is so big. I'm going to take a little bit and apply onto my skin. I don't have makeup as anything on my skin. So I'm using this balm first time. So I use it. Let's see how it. fresh start oil uh, oil clear face wash lemon um yeah it's in lemon it's in 100 ml so i take so much this is the rose water and a little bit of aloe vera and it creates my toner i'm just going to spray this under my skin i love this using recently vitamin c and this is from imveda natural ayurveda vitamin c So I just take this on my dry palm, three palms like this, and just apply. Then I go with this uh, Clinique moisturizer and uh, and just take a tiny amount of it, apply into my skin like this, and just spread it. <laughs> I'm going to take this avocado oil from uh, Indulgio, and I take two or three drops of it. Like this, oh my god! And this is non-greasy, really nice, and I love this. I end my vlog. I hope you like it.